Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, boys have worked really, really hard, incredibly hard on the on the physical side of their conditioning and um, high intensity stuff. But um, yeah, I know like the boys look to be in good shape and really excited into our first preseason friendly now. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I think there's a lot of young players, young talent. We've talked about it for a number of years about the academies and pathways here in the Dragons, and uh, there's a lot of young youngsters who are tromping a bit to get their first opportunity to play. Uh, to get in the jersey. Uh, also, there's a couple of boys returning from 20s duty who had real good uh, summers and World Cup competitions. So again, they get they get the first opportunity to get into that rep, uh, Dragons jersey and represent and hopefully put in uh, some of the hard work that they've put in will come into fruition. Uh, yeah, look, I think it's about just uh, playing our, getting our style of play on, onto the game. We want to play uh, high tempo, high ball and play, express ourselves. Uh, be smart in certain areas of the field, uh, really want to work on our, our set piece and I think it's a perfect uh, game, perfect opportunity for us to work on our set piece, typically English, Championship, uh, team they'll have a good driving mall, they'll have a good scrum. Uh, for the whole of pre-season actually when you think of Bath and, and Bristol friendlies we're going to be tested up front and it's a perfect opportunity and perfect perfect free game preparation to go into our first URC game so uh, from a forwards point of view we need to make sure our set piece and the stuff we've worked on in, in training is it, it, spot on and then from our attack and defence point of view is getting our principles of play and getting our intensity and physicality really spot on as well. Yeah, it's really exciting. We've uh, we've spoken a lot pre-season about uh, you know our home ground and, and Rodney being that type of tough environment for opposition teams to come to, and obviously that environment for us to be really excited and proud to play there. Um, we know the fans come out every week and, and, and support the team, so it's about us putting in performances now that, that pay them back and make them proud and make them excited to come watch us. Okay, so um, obviously the Harpy game, like we said, is going to be full of youngsters, full of young Gwent boys who want to want to express themselves in front of a, a real strong vocal home crowd.